Hello everyone. Today I'm making a mixed media art on canvas board of 12 into 16 inches. As you can see, firstly I'm applying gesso all over canvas to get smooth surface. And after you cover all the surface, let it get dry for some time. Now I'm taking Faber Castle gelatos. To give background color, I'm using uh, yellow gelatos and pink for my background. Let me apply pink color on the top and yellow in the bottom. And for blending it nicely, we can use wet hand or tissue wipes, baby wipes, and baby wipes. wet baby wipes. As you can see, I'm blending with tissue wipes. It is very easy for us to blend. With tissue wipes. Also, I'm covering sides and make it vibrant pink color. Now I'm applying more pink color to get that vibrant effect. After this, I'll apply yellow color in the bottom. Now as you can see, it's blended perfectly, nicely on the top. Now I will take yellow color gelatos, Faber Castell gelatos and apply the same way I've applied pink color on the top. I will make it more vibrant so that when it blend with pink color at the edges it will look nice You can always use tissue wipes to get that perfect blending that is called baby wipes, wet wipes. I am also covering edges and blending it perfectly.
now as you can see i'm almost finishing my background this completing the edges making it more brighter this is all completed my background is ready let me show you how it looks like that's it now we will apply our object on this other things now as you can see it is perfectly blend and it got dry now i this is distress ink morning dew is the color and this is memory box stencil you you can use any any stencil you want whatever shapes you want but i'm using this this got butterflies and some flowers so i'll here you can see how it look like so what i'll do i'll just place it on the canvas like this yeah and dab some distress ink on that so that it will give impressions of butterfly design this is a dabber and this is ink which i'm using distress ink I'm using blue color. You can use whatever color you want, but this is blue color I'm using. Now, I'll just dab on the distress ink pad and make an impression through stencil. It will give you nice, beautiful image. an impression of the design now as you can see the design is ready this is i got impression Now we will do some texturing on our object on our canvas. So I'm using texture paste from Ranger and Gelatos to get blue color. I'm applying some Gelatos and this palette I will use. This is nice. I'm adding texture paste in the Gelatos and making light sky blue color blend it perfectly so that you will get nice blue color with the help of knife so the next step is i've taken this print out from the internet you can take any belly dancing print out or any dance move you like you can take that print out and i'm just cutting extra edges by marking it with pencil just mark it with pencil and i just i will just cut it edges from the bottom Now I'll take my canvas and I'll place this picture on that. I will make some texture in the bottom, so I'm aligning this picture with that texture line, and I'm drawing one line to get proper size where I need to make texture. I'll keep that aside. Now I got an idea that where I need to make my texture. Now what we will do is we are using this stencil 
to make that wall like texture so we have made texture paste from texture paste and gelatos we just need to apply it from the palette knife it will give you proper ap application I'm really sorry for the background noise that we have made here I'm applying it all the way so that you will get make perfect line and here you can see I'm texturing it all through the line you can let it dry for uh, 10 to 15 minutes or you can use heat gun whatever way here is I can show you this is a heat gun you can use it to dry it now we need to place this dancer on this canvas so I need to cut this out I'm using my scissors and cutting mat to cut it down cut it nicely and properly with the help of scissor and finger scissor you can see I'm using my finger scissor also to get perfect shape perfect cut Now you can see I got it. I got this shape of this dancer. Now I'm taking this paper from Papery Shield brand, and I'm taking dark color paper which goes in onto my canvas. I'm taking this shape on that can on that paper, and I will cut this shape exactly this lady shape on that paper by drawing by marking lines so I'm using my black artist pen to draw a line and you can perfectly draw that shape on that paper and then cut it out with finger scissors now as you can see I have just cut this shape and it will look like this so make sure that you will cut it nicely properly everything should be in place okay don't miss out hands legs everything should be proper now as you can see I'm detailing this lady with archival ink and dabber I'm and I'm detailing edges so you just need to dab onto ink and then dab on the onto edges of that lady dab it nicely all through the edges of the dancer that shape now I'm finishing my edges detailing edges and now this is how it looks like we're taking our canvas 
in matte multimedium to stick our object that is dancer so I'm applying matte medium all over the gelatos also it will fix your gelato this matte medium will fix your gelatos so I'm applying all over the gelatos and now I will stick my object that is the dancer okay so let me apply all over Gelato and then I will stick this shape on my canvas. Now you can see I've stick it nicely. Now the next step is we will highlight the bricks. Okay. So for that we will use black Faber Castle artist pens that is small and bold. Now here I will use small one that Faber Castle pit artist pen. I will use small one. And I will just highlight those bricks. I will just make outline on those bricks. So it will get nice look when it will be finished. I will zoom it and I will show it like this. See, you should highlight all the way. Now, as you can see, I've highlighted all the path. I'm closing it and I can show you here. And also I have highlighted floor with a single line. Right now I'm highlighting floor with single line. And now this is a complete look. How it, how it look like after highlighting. Now you can use palette knife and texture paste to create another texture paste using manganese blue color I'm using acrylic manganese blue color for another texture which I'll do on my canvas so I've used texture paste and manganese blue color and I've created this nice blue color texture now this is a stencil from script stencil from craftsworkshop.com so I'll create some texture over it by using that blue texture paste. So you need to use your palette knife and your stencil and that will give you a script texture. Now as you can see this is the result we got but it got some faded path so always we can correct those faded part with white wet wet wipes and your palette knife so I'm correcting that with wet wipes and palette knife now after correcting my faded path this is how it will look like let me correct some faded lots over there and this is the final look i got <laughs> now what i need to do is uh, i'm doing some shading with charcoal pencil so I'll shade with charcoal pencil over here 
we need to take thick charcoal pencil to get that perfect shading and you have to shade it all over the lady all over the dancing girl so please go through and shade all over the lady so this is how it will look like after shading perfect shading so now i'm taking this scripted paper from paperaceous these are got nice collection so here i will stamp by using distress ink and a butterfly stamp like this you will get easily in the market in the art station and you just dab it and make an impression on that scripted paper and you will get perfect butterfly on that just cut it out i've just cut it out and kept it aside now i will cut this but i will stick this butterfly onto my canvas by using matte medium multi matte medium by ranger and make sure that you will use dry brush to apply matte medium once you apply it, just stick it on to your canvas and it will give you this look perfect now in, I'm using distress paint cracked pistachio color to give border of, to my canvas It blends perfectly with your hand with the uh, wet wipes and you will get nice border out of it so I'm using this color because it goes on my base color it goes perfectly now I'm just drawing border all over the canvas on the edges I need to see blend it perfectly with the help of wipes or your wet fingers and now you can have a look how it looks like edges of the canvas with cracked pistachio distress paint now the next step is to write some message on that so I'm using these letters stickers from the market which I bought and these are very easily available stickers so I'm writing message dance like no one's watching and love like it's all you know so it's very easy to stick those stickers and after this I will use Tim Ho's Stampers Anonymous collection which is a letter stamps so I'll reuse those stamps to write my message now I'm writing like with 
Tim Holtz stamps and it will look like like see now I'm stamping with archival ink or districts ink whatever ink you like you can go ahead I'm using blue ink so I'm stamping with blue ink now this is how it will look like and you can go ahead write a whole message and a final look is like this I hope you like my video kindly please subscribe for my video thanks a lot and if you like watching my videos please leave a suggestion thank you